Hello guys, I just want to do an update on my um, fruit flies and crickets. And but first, I just like to thank um, Modillium, Mo whatever, you, however you say. It, um, for another reason, ju just so you know who I'm talking to, and the person who I intentionally made the thank you for is know who I'm talking to. I mean, um, the person who has a hamster in a yellow bracket background for her, his, her, uh, he, her. Him or her's background, I mean, I mean channel icon, that's the person I'm talking to you, so. <clears throat> Thank you for the um, tip on the Venus flytraps. So now I'm not going to put them in the fridge overnight, because it could kill them. <clears throat> so, I plan to, um, if, if I have enough time, to buy some st sterile, buy some vermiculite. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the Venus flytraps, trim every single thing that looks dead or dying off of them when it's time for them to go dormant and put them in the fridge for three months. So thank you for that. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And with the ver vermiculite, I won't have a problem having to use a fungicide because I don't have any of those. And I just don't have the money to get them, so I'm going to have to do this another way. It's more comfortable to lay down and record for some reason for me. So, there's um the pupa. The fly pupa. And um, some of the flies are dying because they're laying eggs. So there's a fly pupa. So there's one, two, three, four. There's a fifth on the bottom. I think there might be more. Okay, so it be, there's six, seven... Okay, so there's eight fly pupas. So then there will be plenty of fruit flies for my Nepenthes ventricosa to eat. So it can grow faster. Here's a tip for um, Nepenthes. If you want it to have bigger pitchers, you don't feed it as often. You like oh, only give it one cricket or two every five or six months. So it has something to eat, it's just the pitchers will be a lot bigger. If you just want the plant to get to adulthood faster, then that's when you you start feeding it like like crazy, like giving it, I'd say about four or three crickets into one pitcher or so every, well, j just until they look digested. So I learned that from um, Predatory Plants. YouTube channel. They also have a website where you can buy amazing carnivorous plants and get good deals on them. So now is the cricket bottle. So um, one of them has resulted to cannibalism because um, there's a headless cricket in there. I guess one of them had to have resulted to cannibalism because that cricket has no head and its body looks mutilated. Now, there, there's no way a spider could, could get in here because the glass is slippery. So the spider has nothing to grasp onto. But anyway, that is really, really weird. So, <clears throat> this video might be my last video for a while. I probably won't make any videos for a while because I want to give the um, Nepenthes and other carnivorous plants time to grow. But before that, I promise that, that tomorrow I'm going to make a Saracenia Flava update. Because it's starting to go dormant, it's growing slower and stuff, you know. It's starting to get smaller little pictures on it. So I forgot what I was going to say. It's um, 6.33 and it's just dark outside and I'm kind of confused. So... Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video.